These are my PCB coils and as you probably know I like to use them in a lot of my projects. They consist from two layers of spiral tracks connected to the via in the middle. Very similar to Tesla's bi filer coil, but what if we could wind them differently? That's right, in this video we're going to explore two new coil designs. For now, let's just ignore this one. All these other coils live in the same plane, which means that their magnetic polarity points in the same direction. The only difference between them is their windings. My original coil have 35 turns on each layer. It starts from the top and spirals its way out to the bottom layer. The new design is a little bit different as the turns are shared between the two layers. So it starts with a turn in the middle and then it goes to the bottom layer to make another turn. This returns back to the top layer to repeat the sequence. So I think this technique resembles more hand wound coils. But the disadvantage here is that more vials had to be used which increased the overall area. I decided to design two coils with this topology, one that had the same number of turns and the other one that had the same length. I was afraid that the larger oval shape would make the test unfair, so I created two other oval coils using my original winding techniques. To check if there is any difference between these two configurations, I'm going to measure the coil's basic parameters. I started by confirming the resistance, and the coil with the same length had similar values. I also measured their inductance, and as expected, the coils with more turns had larger readings. Then I tested their magnetic flux density, and to my surprise, the original version still had the largest value. However, when comparing the oval shapes, the new topology had slightly higher strength. Needless to say, all the coils got attracted to the magnet and had the same flappy motion. Given that there is no specific advantage of these new coil designs, I'm going to stick with the old one. I mean, it's smaller and easier to make. Now, this other variant is different because its magnetic polarity is facing this direction. The idea behind this coil is to create sideways movement. Imagine having our original design coupled with two of these sideways coils. This would allow my flexible PCB actuator to flap up, down and to the sides. The only problem is that its area is super small given that the flexible PCB has 0.1mm thickness. So this parameter created a drop in the coil's inductance and magnetic field. Ok so I have mounted an LE and I'm just going to put a magnet underneath and see what happens. At first I thought it wasn't working, but after zooming in I noticed that the PCB was being actuated with a small displacement. This probably makes it insufficient for my 2-axis flapping idea, but maybe it could work for some micro actuator application. I think that's all the experiments we can do with these coils. I hope you enjoyed watching them and if you did, please hit the thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye!